Hi guys, this is uh, Josh. Uh, this right here is a syrup chow pack bait. It's more for summertime. You can use it in the wintertime, but it's gonna break down real slow. Uh, I already packed a ball of it right there, as you can see, and I got pops. I got a pop in it to see how long it's gonna take to break up. But last night, I put a bowl of water outside. Not sure of the temperature, but we're gonna do a breakdown test, see how long it takes to break down. So here we go. One, two, three, drop. If it's bubbling, it's gonna break. It usually in cold water, it'll probably take about five minutes to break down. Summertime, maybe a minute or two. But wintertime, it's gonna take a while. As you can see, it's it's bubbling slowly. You can see the flavor is uh going out of the bait ball. I like using syrup chow because if you use it with corn or eggs, you have to keep adding water or you gotta keep adding stuff. Syrup chow. You ain't gotta add nothing. But wintertime it takes a it takes a long time for it to for it to, to break. It's bubbling slowly. See that big bubble there? If it breaks and the pops come up, you know you're good. At the end of the video, I'll check the time when we dropped it. And then I'll let y'all I'll let y'all know how long it, it, it takes to break up. But as you can see that flavor in that in that that water. Now if this it was if this was summertime, that bait would done broke. We're at two minutes right now, I believe. And it's not it's not broke up, but now, that water is cold. It's winter time. I think the temperature right now is like 42 degrees outside. Now I can't judge this this water by the lake lake water, but the lake water is probably even colder. So but that's what it is. It's syrup chow. If y'all want want to know how to make it, I I, I got a video on our, our YouTube channel how to make it. Now this is number two chow. You now you you see you can see in the in there in the video that little crack. You can barely see it. Yeah, you see your big bubble there. Let's go over here to the other side. See that crack there? We're in three we're at three minutes in this water. And I didn't I I packed it five times. The more you pack it the longer it's gonna take for it to break. So if I, I'd have packed this 10 times, it probably took 10 minutes. Take 10 minutes, 12, 13 minutes. I only packed it five times. Now summertime, you gonna have to pack it. I pack mine 10 times. Cause summertime that water's a little bit hotter and it will break down fast. A minute, a minute or two. It's kind of like the, like the millet pack bait people make. It's the same, kind of the same recipe. You're putting your wheat bran and you're putting your flour in. Some lakes won't let you throw chow all year round, but some of the lakes that I go to, they will let you throw chow. But most of the time I'm throwing rice. I, lo I love rice. You see that big bubble there. We're at four minutes and thirty-four seconds right now, and it ain't it ain't broke yet. So, like I said, five minutes or so. But you can see the flavor coming out of that bait ball. Now that water. Now you could pack it two or three times, and it should still stay on the hook, just to get where you can get it out. 
There, that's a big bowl there. Some say that 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 um, flour acts like concrete. That's why it don't won't break down in the winter time. That's fast. But like I said, I don't like wasting bait. And I don't fish much in the winter time, but. Yeah, we're at five minutes and 34 four seconds on the video. So we're looking at going on six minutes. But like I said, if you leave them out there for an hour, it's going to break in, in an hour. It's, it's, it's not going to take an hour to break. I, I like to bait mine up every hour and a half. Now you can see a little bit of that, that pop in there. Alright, we're at 617. Still no pops popped up yet. But it's bubbling. Alright, it's cracking. It's cracking, y'all. I put two pickups in it, so... Let's see. See that pickup in there? It's hiding in there. Six forty-nine right now, so we're in it. We're in at six minutes, and that pickup ain't ain't come out yet, but it's about to. Bam! There's one right there. So you got one that's out out, out of the bait right now. So while that other's breaking down, you got one floating out of the bait. When that carp sees that pickup, he's gonna come in, and sometimes they'll nudge that bait, and it'll help break up too. See, you got that one pop bar, it's out floating. That one's still up in there. So that one, that one's still on the hook floating. You got the other one that's still in there. Bam! There's the other one. That bait still ain't broke down, but you know what I'm saying? And them pops are out. So he's got something to eat on, or he's got something to mess around with. Now during the summertime, that bait's gonna lay flat and it's gonna spread. Wintertime, Right now, it's still back like you just packed it. It's going to take a little while for it to break apart and spread. We're at eight minutes. It's still up in like in a ball. So you're probably looking at about 10 minutes. 10, 10 to 15 minutes of it going to break down completely. But what, what, do, you, what do you expect? It's wintertime. Summertime, this bait will break fast. We get back into warm weather, I will post a video of this bait breaking in warm water. You can see now it's it's breaking pretty good on this side. Let's go over here on this side. See how on this side it's still not broke down all that good? But that carp's gonna come in, look, there he goes. That carp's gonna come in there and nudge that, nudge that bait. But that's the that's the syrup chow. It's broke apart pretty good. Just not on that one side and it, it ain't broke up all that great. But I wanna say ten minutes and this bait will fully break down. Now it might be different at the lake far as grind a break because I don't know the temperature at the lake. It could be colder or it could be a little bit warmer. It all depends what the temperature is. But this is Josh, shining out. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.